Hey y'all. I really didn't want to make a serious video today. I really did not after what we went through yesterday. Wasn't planning on this at all. However, I just got an email from my biological mother. <laughs> it's like, I'm laughing, but it's not funny at all. I'm just laughing because it's like, of course. Of course I did. I don't, I read it and I immediately was like, no. You guys have been on this journey with me this whole time. Lily, what are you doing? Um, she saw the Heather McDonald interview and she had some thoughts about it. So, I don't know, I just want to read it to you, um, cause of course, cause of course she's my mom and this is what she said. Amanda, that's my, uh, government name. Amanda, I followed your videos and very well done, really. Okay, thank you. Not being negative. See, I believed her at first and then she says, see. All right, let's just start again. Okay, Amanda. I followed your videos and very well done, really. Not being negative. You're a great actress. I feel like she's being sarcastic. We all miss the real Amanda. After watching all the pain you claim to have occurred from abusive parents in your videos, the one biggest truth is missing, the loss of your twin sister. You know, when I was, <laughs> okay. I've mentioned it several times. So you haven't followed my videos, mom. Did you even see the dollhouse show? My special birthday episode? <laughs> no. <laughs> you never mention the biggest pain you will ever have in your life. You can't tell me how to fucking feel. Actually, in all of our lives. Think on it, my daughter. Truth is that not... <laughs> truth is that me... That not me or your father have caused you pain. She literally says that the truth is that she has not caused me pain and neither has my father. She literally said that. And the life you have chose because of it. So she's saying, in your interview with the McDonald or whatever her name, don't you view it odd that you were laughing through those questions? Any basic psychology would tell you that you're laughing to disguise the truth. I'm laughing to disguise the pain. What the fuck? She's not a psychologist, by the way. Um, not a normal reaction. One day, you will be back to the girl I gave birth to and love with all of my heart. I, she's gone. She's gone. You, you, if, if you're watching us, if you're following my well done videos, mother, when you gave my biological father, the man who sexually abused me as a child, when you gave him my home address, I will never return to you. You did that to yourself. You did that to me. I'm selling that house now, by the way. I moved several months ago, so I, it doesn't even matter. I won't even own it in the next month. The door is always open. And I pain for the loss of Sarah, your sister, as much as you. You gave her away. You put her up for adoption. Shut the fuck up. I'm like shaking angry at the, the, the dissolute. She must have wrote this when she was drunk. That explains why she spelled McDonald or that way. We miss you, Amanda. Michael and I. Michael's my little brother. He's cool. Come home in thoughts. Yeah, she's drunk. There is only one family in a lifetime. Don't throw it away. How, you know what? I would respond to this if it was, Amanda, I can't believe how much pain you're in. I didn't know how much I was responsible for it. I have failed you as a parent. And I'm humiliated and disappointed that we are. I had to publicly find out like this. I'm finally going to take some responsibility for, for my actions as a parent. I wish I could be a better parent to you. Let's start over. Even though I don't think I've played this role that you claim, your your emotions are valid. Your pain is obviously real. And I'm here to be a mother to you. That's what it should say. But it doesn't. It literally says that... Um, <laughs> 
that my my sister is the reason why I I have post traumatic stress disorder from being sexually abused. <laughs> um, mm, mm. This is so her. See now, if if I was younger, this type of shit would throw me for a loop. This would this would be the type of like what is this called gaslighting? This would be the type of emotional abuse that would literally make me feel like, am I crazy? But no, this is a beautiful showcase example of what it was growing up, what growing up was like. Because it's like, hey, I have a problem. I'm feeling unsafe. <laughs> it's not my fault, kid. What do you, what do you, you get, you're going to make me feel bad about myself? You're fucked up, not me. All she needs to do is take... I mean, no, it's it's done. The the damage... I don't want a relationship with anyone in my family. My little brother is cool. I would totally have a relationship with him. We text sometimes, but... Um... um isn't that, like, kind of fucking insane? I've been open with you guys about my twin sister as well. Um, it's not like I've ever like hidden this big secret, but the biggest pain in my life is my mom neglecting me and emotionally abandoning me. Yeah, watching her abandon my twin sister. Uh, and my dad treating me like a girlfriend since I was a toddler. That's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of components. <laughs> but it's just so funny how she's trying to tell me that the things that happened to me didn't happen to me. But it's like you weren't really around. You were you weren't even there. Like you Is that not bizarre? This could have been an apology, but this was this was like a taunt and a guilt trip combined. <laughs> and you expect me to come back to you? As your child? <laughs> I've never been your child. I've been... I've been your obligation. Um, and frenemy. Bizarre. Oh, I just need to block her. I blocked her on my phone, which is why she can't call me anymore. I don't know why I haven't thought to block her on my email. Um... I'm I'm trying to like pull something out of this. Um the one biggest truth is missing. It just didn't it just didn't come up. It it just didn't come up in the conversation uh with Heather McDonald. Sorry Heather, I forgot to mention that I had a twin sister and um she had severe brain damage. She had hydrocephalus and she was a big uh, problem for my entire family. It was one of the reasons why we were forced into poverty. Um, and then my mom eventually couldn't handle it anymore and uh, gave her up for adoption. And it was a closed adoption, and I've never been able to communicate with her. And she's presumed dead because of her um, severe brain damage. I, I, you know, <laughs> we were talking... Um, excuse me, we were talking about me during the interview, okay? I'm sorry that if I laugh through my pain instead of crying, if I was to cry on Heather McDonald, I would have cried the whole time. It was a really intense interview. And sometimes people laugh when they're uncomfortable or feeling an emotion that they don't want to feel. Basic psychology. <laughs> this is really making me want a brow lift. I mean, a temple lift. Yeah, we should do it. You hear that, mom? You, listen. You need to put down the drink. And you need to get a new husband or a new boyfriend. Or whatever. Because I know you're miserable. Listen. Your picker, it don't work. Because you pick my father. Didn't work out for a multitude of reasons. And then you pick my stepfather. Oh, whoops. Grubhub is here. I ordered sushi for dinner.
Let's go get the sushi. Come on. My, my, my tortured life money. Oh my god. Hmm. I just noticed she titled the email Truth. You know what would be funny though? If my mom became a YouTuber and she like joined the legions of my haters and we're like, like exposing Amanda, Amanda Drago, like cause that's my government name. I don't use my government name. Why? Because that lady gave it to me. She gave me the first name. My father gave me the last name. You think I want to rock that? No. So that's why I picked my own name. It's not because I don't care. It's not because I'm trying to hide my government name from you. I just don't like how it was selected for me. Oh. I'm going to call Heather McDonald. I just, I just want to talk to her. I just like her. I think she's great. <laughs> I've had a rough year. Okay. I had the NBC documentary come out. And I got my family harassing me. I'm having problems with my man. I got my old escorting agent on my ass. Then I got my other old escorting agent on my ass. Can you let a hoe mentor? Can you let a hoe mentor? God damn, thank God for the Lydia dolls. Thank God in whatever capacity I have, I'm gonna have my man. You, mm, my heart. Thank you. I know I don't always answer your comment, but I saw it. Uh, I just get distracted a lot, I just, you know. I'm going to try more. I'm like feeling guilty now. I don't know why. Oh, because my mom just sent me a letter making me feel like a bad person. That's why. Right. Right. Yes. Hmm. Okay. I see that now. How are we going to make this a better video? Mm. Oh. 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 Okay. I'm going to take a bath. I'm going to... Pick a beautiful array of candles and then I'm gonna use a bath bomb and I'm gonna FaceTime my best friend. Okay, and then I'm gonna eat the rest of this sushi. Did you know I got crispy rice? Yeah, I'm gonna show you the crispy rice, it's so good. I'm literally eating on the floor. I feel like I... I feel like a student, university or something. Okay, see this? This is a crispy rice sushi. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Let's take a bath. And let's watch a Marilyn Monroe movie. Oh. Okay. Okay. What did I tell ya? We've got some orchid petals. We've got crystals. I've got a little spell going for happiness and love. Got my nice amethyst. And let's, oh no. Oh no, it's a bad omen. <laughs> it's all bad, it's all bad people. <laughs> That's orange, that's pretty. That's kind of cool looking too. Ah, this is officially me making lemonade hose. Ooh. Okay. I am gonna enjoy this no matter what.